So, it is the 14th of June, it's day 75. Um, <laughs> it's now eight o'clock. Usually I start the video a lot earlier than this, but it was raining today. Look how dark it's got, and it's not even night time yet. It's only half three, it's gonna rain. I've eaten all of the peanut butter, oh dear. When it wasn't raining, it was very windy and you couldn't hear a thing. If you've seen the title, I'm doing questions and answers for a primary school class. So, good morning to 3T. Hopefully it's the morning by the time you're watching this. Um, thank you very much for all of the questions that you sent me and thank you very much to Miss Carrington for sending them to me. I've seen the questions and they are very, very funny. They're very good and some of them are a little bit silly. I think the silly ones are from Miss Carrington. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. I am in Georgia at the moment. About four million people live in Georgia. That is less than half the amount of people that live in London alone. So, not many people at all. Um, the capital of Georgia is Tbilisi, and that's where I'm cycling to at the moment. I'm gonna to cycle to Tbilisi, and then from there I'm gonna to go to a country called Azerbaijan. From there I'm getting a boat across what they call the Caspian Sea to Kazakhstan. And then I'm going to cycle from Kazakhstan to China, and then from China I'm going to Australia, and then I'm going to New Zealand, and then I'm going to Canada, America, Morocco, Gibraltar, Spain, France, and then back home. And will I see the Statue of Liberty? Yes, I'm going to America. I'm going to start in Canada in a place called Vancouver, and it's really close to the border of America. So I'm going to cycle into America all the way down to San Diego, along Texas to Florida, all the way up to Boston. And I will, I will be going through New York, and if I can, I will definitely go and see the Statue of Liberty. I'll take a big photo with my bike. When I looked this morning, before I started cycling today, I've already done 3,604 miles. And today is day 75, so that's 75 days since I left Trafalgar Square on the 1st of April. And as you guys already know, um, I'm doing this round the world cycling to raise money for two really, really, really good charities in the UK. The first one is called Meningitis Now, and the second charity I'm raising money for is Macmillan Cancer Support. So all the money that I raise for this big, big cycling around the world goes to those charities. So far, I've raised £3,986 but I would like to raise £10,000 because all the money that gets raised gets split in the middle and goes equally to meningitis and Macmillan. So that means if I raise £10,000, Macmillan will get £5,000 and meningitis will get £5,000. So they get the same. Maybe you can help me. Maybe you can um, tell your mum, your dad um, or your neighbour about, about my journey and they can donate. Why did I decide to do this trip? So I was studying in school really, really hard. Um, I'd been to university and I was at law school studying to be a barrister. And a friend of mine lent me a book by a man called Alistair Humphreys. He's a British adventurer and his book was about cycling around the world. And I read his book and I thought, wow, that is so cool. I really, really want to do something like this. It's amazing. So I said to my friend Harry, who at the end of my exams, when I finished all of my school, I'm going to ride around the world. I'm going to cycle around the world. And he said, okay, I think you can do it. And I thought, wow, this, this trip's going to be really hard. It's going to be really tough. And I could use this to raise money for two really great charities. And so that's, that's where I am at the moment. It took me a whole day to cycle all the way from Trafalgar Square down to the port where I got the ferry to France. I got the ferry from, to France from um, a place called New Haven, which is on the south coast. It's near Brighton, um, and I got a ferry from there to uh, Dieppe, and that took all day to cycle from London. I think the trip will take me longer than a year to do. I'd like to do it in a year, but I think maybe it will take a little bit longer. Am I going to have a party when I get home? Oh, I hope so. Get all my friends, all my family, um, wish me back and say hello. There'll be lots of people to see. What do I do when I get back? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, I finished all my exams to be a barrister, so I will look to start working as a barrister when I get home. And maybe, if the trip goes well, maybe I'll write a book about this journey. 
Who knows? What animals have I seen on my trip so far? I've seen so many animals on my trip. Um, I've seen cows, so many cows. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Pigs, horses. Morning. Chickens, ducks. Tortoise, I've seen three tortoises actually. Lizards, snakes, uh, eagles, hawks, dolphins. They were really cool. So all the dolphins in the Black Sea, really, really cool. Uh, llama, a donkey, a goat. Look at the goat eating from the tree. A sheep, and lots of dogs always dogs around and cats so i'm having lots of fun um, it's really really cool to cycle into a new place every day you see something completely different so today i've seen lots of mountains riding through the mountains i've seen lots of animals again um, you meet lots of new people i've made so many friends i've made lots of friends with german people hi i'm martin i'm from germany uh, i started in hamburg and i meet charlie on the way to vienna and uh, since vienna we are cycling together to istanbul and uh, in turkey we lost each other but uh, now we found each other again and uh, we are in georgia right now with people from sweden with people from switzerland with people from france with people from Turkey, all over the world. You meet lots and lots of people, um, and some of them have been cycling too, so sometimes I've had somebody to cycle with me. At the moment, I'm cycling on my own, and I have been for the last two or three days, um, and I will probably be cycling on my own for a little bit longer. I've had so many different types of food on this trip. My favorite food of all to eat is peanut butter. But my favorite food that I've had on this journey so far, in Turkey, they have a food called lamachin. Looks like a really thin squashed pizza. And then they put um, the tomato like pizza sauce on it and then little pieces of beef. And what you do is you put lots of salad on it and then you roll it up and you eat it like a, like a wrap. What do I miss most about England? Hmm. Well, I miss my friends, I miss my mum, my dad and my sister. Um, I miss hearing the, uh, an English voice. At the moment in Georgia, they don't speak English, they speak Georgian. And I miss television, I miss lots of television, especially Game of Thrones. The last time I had a shower, this is a, <laughs> this is a good question. So I had a shower just a minute ago um, because it really, really, really rained today and I was very, very wet when I came into the room. So I just had a shower, but three days ago, I hadn't had a shower for more than two weeks. So that's really bad. And sometimes you would sit down to eat food at lunchtime and you'd sit down and you'd get your bread out and your lunch and then you'd, what's that smell? And you're looking around, God, that, that smells really bad. And then you realize it's you. So I try to have a shower as much as possible when I can, but when you're camping, there isn't a shower around. So you have to use a bar of soap and just some water. How long does it take me to put my tent up at night? It takes me about, Five minutes I would say to put my tent up um, it takes longer to find a really good spot to put your tent it needs to be nice and flat so that when you lay down at night to sleep you're not on a hill otherwise you would roll away or you wouldn't be able to sleep you don't want any big rocks or stones there you want the ground to be nice and soft um, and you want the ground to be dry and maybe if it's going to rain that night Maybe you want to be under a tree or near some trees so that you don't get so much rain. But I think I spend about half an hour looking for a really good spot. It's nice camping, um, but uh, it's not as good as sleeping in a bed. <laughs> there's lots of noises at night. Birds, frogs, there's always noises from frogs. So when you go to bed at night, you can hear all of the wildlife. You hear the birds tweeting, the frogs making noises, and, but after a while, when you've been camping for a long time, you just fall straight to sleep. Where do I camp? Um, so what I normally do is I start in the morning about nine in the morning, I start cycling. Um, and then I will stop for the day at six o'clock. 
and at six o'clock I will start to look for a place to put my tent to camp. I look to be near the road or the route that I'm cycling on so that it doesn't take me long in the morning to get back to where I'm going. Um, but you want to be away from the road so it's nice and quiet. If there are some woods, some trees, be in the trees because you're nice and sheltered, you're hidden away, no one can see you, it'll be nice and dry um, and you hear all the, the wildlife. Um, but really you can camp anywhere, you've just got to look for a really great spot. So I've camped on the top of a mountain that overlooked a beach, I've camped on a beach, I've camped in somebody's garden, you can camp anywhere. If it's somebody's land, you need to ask them if it's okay, but um, when you do a big journey like this, you can camp wherever you like, really. Am I aching yet, <laughs> or am I used to it? Yes, I ache, every day my legs ache. Um, normally they ache only in the evening, and when I wake up in the morning, they're normally okay, but it depends on how far you're cycling that day, but yes. A lot of a lot of a lot lot of parts of me ache all the time. You normally ache more when you have a day off, when you have a day where you don't do any cycling, and you can't move because you're not doing anything, and your body's used to going really really fast. So that's when I normally ache. Sunniest country so far? Hmm. Turkey. I was in Turkey for a long long time, maybe three four weeks, and it was always sunny. I think it rained on one day and I've got a really, really good suntan, but only on my arms and my legs, because the rest of me has a shirt. Can I do any tricks on my bike? So can I do tricks on my bike? Well, if you've seen how much stuff is on my bike, it's impossible. Without the bags, I could do a bunny hop and jump up on the bike off the ground. But with all this stuff on, it is so heavy, there is no chance. It's a trick just staying on the bike. Where do I go to the toilet? Well, normally, I go to the toilet in a bathroom. Um, if, you're camp if I'm camping and there isn't a toilet for a long, 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 long while, then um, you have to go find a nice place that's hidden away in the trees where nobody can see you. You dig a hole and, yeah, you, you go to the toilet. But you've got to make sure that you cover it back up again and you wash your hands. You should only, only, only go to the toilet outside if there is no toilet for ages. It's not possible. And when you do, you have to be very careful. If you're in a car and you're going somewhere, you, you can wait until you find a toilet, or if you're at school, you can use the toilet. If you're at home, you should use the toilet. If you're at a friend's house, you should use the toilet. Okay, so I think that's all of the questions that you had for me. Thank you so much again for sending me all of the questions. It was really fun to answer them for you. Um, what I would say to, to end the video really is um, make sure that at the weekend, if it's nice and sunny, because the weather looks like it's going to be good in England this weekend, if it's nice and sunny, make sure you get outside and you play outside, you run around. If you've got a bike, get on your bike, go cycling, but make sure you have a helmet. You need to have a helmet. If it rains, you need to have a coat your helmet still goes on, you need to have a light on the front of your bike and um, a reflective jacket so everybody can see you. You always need to wear a helmet when you're on your bike because everybody falls off their bike. You don't want to bang your head without wearing a helmet. You can visit my website to see where I am in the world, but first you have to ask permission. If you're at school, you need to ask a teacher that you can use the computer. If you're at home, you need to ask your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, whoever is in charge of the computer, you need to ask them first if you can go onto the internet to find out where I am in the world. If they say yes and you, you can go onto the internet to do that, then you need to visit the website. So the website where you can find out where I am is here. It's www.thenoviceexplorer.com. If you want to write it down, just press pause on the video now and you can make a note of it. Or if you're a smarty pants and you're watching this on YouTube, if you click the little description below, there's a link at the bottom that you can click and it will take you straight to the website. And when you're there, all you need to do is press the button that says find me. And when you click that, a big map of the world comes up and it will show you where I am at that time. But make sure you ask permission first. Thanks very much guys. Have a great day. See you later.